That's something that mm -hmm. how people can know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have did that, Pastor. I, I have did not so much in that way of the house and stuff, but I have did that. Mm -hmm. I have been around people just because I know you're going to give it to me. You know I can't stand you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I, that's wrong. I repent for that. Mm -hmm. right, so repent. Yeah. It's done in the <laughs> You're a new creature. <laughs> Offense. Amen. And so he telling you, then let's go back, let's see what he, I want y'all to remind y'all again, let's go back to, well I just want to get to the hawking part, let me tell you what he said again, go to Mark 7, 14 again, I'm going to tell y'all again, he's going to tell you again, what you need to do. Okay. Mark, oh, I'm on Mark, I'm going to go for it. Mark 7 and 14. Time for Michelle ain't got that, didn't get it. She was late in, so I'm going to make sure. Okay. And when he had called all the people unto him, he said unto them, Hearken unto me. Our topic was hearken. Uh, he telling them to hearken unto me. Pay attention to me. Amen. This is what Jesus is saying. Pay attention to me. Pay it to me. Hearken to me. Me. <laughs> Okay. Hearken unto me and every one of you and understand. I mean, he said, Hearken to me, every one of you, and understand. Mm -hmm. So tonight, did you get some understanding? Understand. Did you get understanding? So yes. we don't want to leave here if that don't understand. Right. <laughs> yeah. The way you want to get to understand. Amen. Okay, Matthew 15 and 10. Let's see what to understand we. Matthew yeah, 15 and 10. All right. And he called the multitude. He called them the multitude. He said, people, why I go now? He said, multitude. And said unto them, hear and understand. What he telling us to hear and understand. People do a whole lot. Stop talking. Right. Let your ear hear. Y'all can share up when they talk to you. Right. Looking dead like this. Yeah. Don't open your mouth yeah. till you get an understanding. Yeah. What'd you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me, let me prove my hair back. Try to try. Ain't you good? What'd you say? This what you need. If you don't understand, you need to say, repeat that up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he telling you, I want you to get it here. Mm -hmm. Here, don't just mm -hmm. speak out too quick. Yeah. It, you know, I think me and Jimmy have an issue with that because he gets upset with me, but I tell him. If I don't understand you, you gonna tell me again or don't say it at all. Uh -huh. But I asked, I said, what do you say? I say, huh, or something like that. Uh -huh. Huh? That ooh, that Arabic base. I would have said, huh, if I understood you. <laughs> that, I know that. So, so that means you have know, Kevin Duke and say, you make sure you get up. Uh, understand. <laughs> yep. understand. That's why he said, well, probably said, above all things, get yeah, up. Understand. Understand. Yeah, that's understand. That's all all things, yeah. get up. Understand. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And see, okay, he take you here. Let's go to Matthew 15 and 11. Then we be going. 15 to 11, the way it said. Did I, did I get that? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm going to go back and. I get 15 and 10. You got 10, but not 11. Okay, yeah. I need verse 11. Not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man, but that which cometh out of the mouth so, this defileth a man. So you need, I want you to look at, he taught the here and your mouth. Mm -hmm. right. These are the two most important things you need to attain to is your ears mm -hmm. and your mm -hmm. mouth. Mm -hmm. You hear good, don't speak to you, open your mouth till you get an understand. Mm -hmm. A total mm -hmm. understand. Because people will trap you with your mouth. Yes. 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 They'll trap you with their mind and then you will rob yourself with your blessing from with your mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. You don't get in there hocking to that. Amen. I thank God for the word. Amen. Amen. So I'm a, I'm a, we're gonna go back and on deep in this right here. Not to my height. we we'll go in. I'm gonna get that next week. So you learn the difference. Amen. So we won't walk in such condemnation in, in life. So we know what 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 I need to be kind of caught with my mouth. Sometimes people talk too much and talk themselves. Oh, that's why he tell you, it ain't what go into it, it's what come out of it. You might even give me a hundred dollars, and I sit and talk my own hundred dollars back in your back pocket. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Many people's mouth have kept them from being blessed. Amen. So the topic is hearken unto me. Jesus telling me, hearken to me. Pay attention to me. You see a scripture and he, he stop you from reading, he wants you to pay attention. Okay. Um, something happened at work where somebody said that I said something and it's like made into this big old thing like like EOC case thing or whatever. And so like I found out about it. And the person was upset because, you know, that's forever. My name is in there for saying something that I didn't say. Mm -hmm. And I um had talked to my boss about it. And she was just like, well, as long as I said what I said when I went in there and talked to the judge and everything, it's all it's all right, it's okay. And I just kept saying I gotta I gotta pray for her because I can't understand why she tried to pull me, you know, in the stuff. Mm -hmm. But in talking to her, I did get the revelation of what this is how you was talking about people got something to push you where you need to be. Mm -hmm. And so I'm I mean, I'm not there was a time when I would have got mad and I would have, you know, mm -hmm. been a certain way. But I still got to deal with her. Mm -hmm. So I, I deal with her. But I just, I had to get that understanding that she was one of those people that you was talking about that got to get you where you need to mm -hmm. be in life mm -hmm. or whatever. But, you know, I, I'm i still trying to wrap my brain around why she tried to pull me down. But I get that portion of it that mm -hmm. it's, to, it's to give me a but. The lady said, my, the lady work when she said that you always in a good way, you know, you always happy and smiling. So I wouldn't know if you playing or if you whatever. So I was like, I had to take that into consideration and not like change mm -hmm. who I am because this uh, this mess was going on. But my boss was just like, don't worry about it. And she said that it's like the garbage something like you got to throw it into the, the garbage. Mm -hmm. uh, the leaf. Yeah, you got to put it in the garbage. Feel like, don't worry about as long as I did and said what I said. You mm -hmm. know, as long as I told the truth about what really happened and what didn't happen. So, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. Yeah. Right. But, I mean, you know, I was still, I told I don't understand, but it is what it is. It's mm -hmm. done now, so I ain't mad or upset about it, but, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Because what she did, she pushed you where yeah. you needed to go. Yeah. And it made you more uh, alert for yeah. who she is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's everybody saying, she's a liar. She's a, a habitual liar. But you know, I never, she always just talked to me. You know, we not like, I don't deal with her every day. I don't, we don't, we never, we didn't work on the same floor, you know. Mm -hmm. But I'm still like over them. But, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't figure out why she would try to, you know, pull me down. But it's all good. Yeah, she go back to what we talking about, offense. Mm -hmm. A lot of people uh, is, can see the good in you, the deeds you have, but you offend, offense to them. Mm -hmm. So what they do is try to make your record look tainted. Mm -hmm. And they doesn't look like Everybody know what she is, mm -hmm. but she trying to make you look tiny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what it is, you just got to what say be wise yes. as a serpent, gentle as a dove. Mm -hmm. So your content, your action, speak more than your words. Because mm -hmm. like I said, you said once I could have got mad, but they never could get you to stop smiling. Mm -hmm. See, that's what they were looking at. They were looking at your content and how you gonna react to it. 
and you done went in there with a big mouth of cussing <laughs> and want to whoop somebody, then they say, ain't nothing to lean on. But see, you, you gave God his glory in the midst of that lie. Because they didn't, she didn't lie about, to about you, she lied to the God in you. Mm -hmm. So God going to reward you according to how you react to it. Mm -hmm. So your deeds were good. Mm -hmm. So look for your reward. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It's how you react to stuff. Mm -hmm. People watch you. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. She been to blow up the wall. Mm -hmm. and then you come out like a little lamb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that puzzled them. Mm -hmm. And see God getting glory. Right? That's why he says, what don't it ain't what go in you, it's what come out of you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So the next week we're gonna we're gonna talk about we're gonna get to the next verse. We're gonna get that back. So y'all hot. in what you're saying. But tonight we ask you to receive the tithes and the offering, Lord God, for the keeping of your kingdom. And you will open our understanding that we can behold the wonders of your Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Come on, Amy. Amen. Oh, this is from uh, <laughs> oh. last week, I think. Oh, okay. All right. Amen. All right. This is from Pastor. Hey, Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. 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 Yeah. Amen. Looking forward to Sunday. Amen. So every, we don't pray for everybody for your blessing. Yes. Amen. Amen. We agree those ain't God. Yes. So we believe in God for the blessing for you. We pray for that. You need a blessing. We agree with your blessing. I got one question about mm -hmm. what coming out of your mouth. When do you know when you should tell somebody something? If you're telling them the truth, when? If it just keeps riding on you, when should you tell them the truth? Or when okay. should you be quiet? Okay. If God keep pressing you in your heart about it, mm -hmm. he wants you to tell it. Mm -hmm. Now, if he don't press you to say anything, it ain't time to say that. Mm -hmm. You know when to say it, because it's it just all a matter. He'll just, he, he won't even let you rest at night. <laughs> he, he just stay on your heart. He just press on your heart, and you will tell. They have to tell. Uh -huh. Then God wants you to tell them, and, but he don't want you to tell it out of time. Mm -hmm. And when he tell you to tell it, you tell it. And then they'll be ready to receive it. Because some people speak stuff out of time and they're not ready to receive it. And then you know when to say it. 
when it's time to say, you tell you, <laughs> yeah, he'll tell you when to tell you, and then that person will be able to receive it. Just like he did with Peter, he first did with you first. 